Hi everyone, I am going to discuss solving system of linear equations in two variables using graphing as a method. So in this discussion, we're going to work on the solution on the three types of system by graphing each equation from the given system of linear equations. So you learn graphing an equation using three methods. For this discussion, particularly for this example, we're going to make use of the intercepts form and that is assigning x equals to zero. So we can find the y-intercept and assigning y equals to zero. So we'll be able to find its x-intercept. So if we let x equals zero on the first equation, we have two times zero minus y equals negative four. So we have negative y equals negative 4. So we have y equals 4. So y equals 4 class is the y-intercept. So we have one point at 0, 4. Now, if we will let y equals 0, so we have 2x minus 0 equals negative 4. So we have 2x equals negative 4. Divide both sides by 2. So we have x equals negative 2. Now, x equals negative 2 is the x-intercept. So we have another point from the first equation at negative 2, 0. Now, working on the second equation, assigning x equals 0, we'll have y equals 1. And again, this y equals 1 is the y-intercept. So we have one point at 0, 1 for the second equation. And if we will let y equals 0, then x equals 1. And x equals 1 class is the x-intercept. So we have another point at 1, 0. Now, connecting the two points will come up with identifying the line of each equation. So let's change the color. So we have 0, 4 and negative 2, 0. So let's connect the points. So this is now the graph of 2x minus y equals negative 4. So plotting 0, 1 and 1, 0, connecting the two points to identify the line of the graph of the second equation. So this is now the graph of x plus y equals 1. As you can see, class, the two lines intersect. So we can say that the system is consistent and independent. And the two lines intersect. The point of intersection is the solution. So the lines intersect at negative 1, 2. So negative 1, 2 is the solution for this system. Now, the solutions should satisfy both of the equations. So like if we substitute negative 1, 2, to both of the equations, let's begin with the first equation. Substituting negative 1 and 2 to x, y, respectively of the equation. So we have 2 quantity negative 1 minus 2 equals negative 4. So we have negative 2 minus 2 equals negative 4. So we have negative 4 equals negative 4. So this satisfies the solution to the first equation. How about on the second equation? So x is negative 1, so negative 1 minus uh, plus 2 is 1. So 1 equals 1. So this satisfies also the second equation. So therefore, the solution for the first system is negative 1, 2. So next, same with what we did in the previous example, we're going to work on the x and the y intercepts. Like for the first equation, if we will let x equals 0, so we have 2 times 0 minus y equals 4. So we have negative y equals 4. So therefore, y equals negative 4. And y equals negative 4 is the y-intercept. So we have one point at 0, negative 4. And if we will let y equals 0, so we have 2x minus 0 equals 4. So 2x equals 4. Dividing both sides by 2, we got x equals 2. So x equals 2 is the x-intercept. So we have another point at 2, 0. 
Now, working on the second, second equation, assigning x equals 0. So we have 4 times 0 minus 2y equals negative 2. So we have negative 2y equals negative 2. Divide both sides by negative 2. So we have y equals 1. And y equals 1 class is the y-intercept. So we have 1 point at 0, 1. Now, working on y equals 0. So we have 4x minus 2 times 0 equals negative 2. So we have 4x equals negative 2. Divide both sides by 4. We have x equals negative 1 half. So x equals negative 1 half is the x-intercept. So we have another point at negative 1 half, 0. So plotting the two points like the first equation, 0, negative 4, and then the other one is 2, 0. Connecting the two points. And we have 0, 1, and negative 1, 0 here. Connect the two points. So we come up with two lines parallel. So we can say that the system here is inconsistent. Since the system is inconsistent, class, the solution for this is empty. Okay? So, for the next example, again, we will select two points to grab each equation here and find out the solution. So, if we will let the x equals 0 on the first equation. So we have 0 plus 3y equals 1. So we have 3y equals 1. Divide both sides by 3. So we have y equals 1 third. So y equals 1 third is the y-intercept. So we have 1 point at 0, 1 third. And if we will let y equals 0 this time, x plus 3 times 0 equals 1. So we have x equals 1. So x equals 1 is the x-intercept. So we have another point at 1, 0. So working on the second equation, letting x equals 0, we have 5 times 0 plus 15y equals 5. So we have 15y equals 5. Divide both sides by 5. By 15 rather. So we have y equals one third. So y equals one third is the y-intercept. So we have one point at zero, one third. Now, if we will let y equals zero, so we have five x plus fifteen times zero equals five. So we have five x equals five. Divide both sides by five. We have x equals one, and this x equals one is the x-intercept. So we have one point again at one zero. Now. Comparing the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts class of the two equations, it seems that they're equal. So if they're equal, then we consider the system as consistent and dependent. With that, their lines coincide. So we have 0, 1 third here. And then... 1, 0. And they've got the same lines since they have the same x and y intercepts because they are equivalent fractions. And the solution is infinite. Okay. Let's work on the fourth example. Now, since the two equations are expressed in the slope-intercept form, it would be easier for us to sketch the graph by working on the y-intercept. Like in the case of the first equation, the y-intercept is negative 4. So we have one point already at 0, negative 4. And we will consider the numerical coefficient of x, which is the slope. So when we say m equals 2, this is the same with 2 over 1 as the ratio. And we will work on the ratio to identify another point that would determine two points and eventually sketch the graph of the first equation. Likewise here, y equals 3 is the y-intercept. The, the y 
of the second equation. And with that, we'll come up with 1 point at 0, 3. And we will consider also the numerical coefficient of x, which is the slope of the equation, equals 1 third or negative 1 third. So we will be able to identify another point if we're going to consider the ratio, the, the ratio of the slope. So connecting the uh, plotting 0, negative 4. So we have 0, negative 4 here. And consider the ratio 2, 1. So rise by 2 and then run by 1 to the right. And then connect the two points. So we're going to connect the two points here. So this is the equation of the line of the first equation, y equals 2x minus 4. Now let's plot um, 0, 3. And then consider negative 1 third as the slope. So we move down by 2 units and run by 3 units to the right. 1, 2, 3. Okay. And then connect the two points. Now, as you can see, the two lines intersect. So we will conclude that the system is consistent and independent. And with that, we have one solution set, which is the point of intersection at 3, 2. Now, this solution must satisfy both equations. So if we substitute 3, 2 to both equations, like we will substitute 3, 2 to the first equation. So y is 2 equals 2 times 3 minus 4. So we have 2 equals 6 minus 4. So 2 equals 2 here. And then substituting the solution to the second equation, we have 2 equals negative 1 third times 3 plus 3. So we have 2 equals negative 1 plus 3. So we have 2 equals 2, which satisfies also the second equation. So we can say really that this is the solution. Next, we have y equals 2x minus 1, y equals 2x plus 6. Again, the solution is, or the equations are in the slope-intercept form. So for the first equation, we know that the y-intercept is negative 1. So we have 1 point at 0, negative 1. And the slope is 2. For the second equation, we have y equals 6 as the y-intercept. So we have 1 point at 0, 6. And we have to note that the slope is negative 2. So plotting 0, negative 1. And working on the slope. So like we will rise by 2 units up. 1, 2. And then run by 1 to the right. And then connecting the two points. We will be able to obtain. So this is now the graph of y equals 2x minus 1. So plotting the points of the second equation, we have 0, 6 here. Let's place it here, 0, 6. And then the slope is negative 2, so that's negative 2 over 1. So we will rise by 2 units down, 1, 2, and then run by 1 unit to the right. So this is the other point. And then connecting the two points to come up with the equation of the line. So we come up with the equation of the line or with the graph of the second equation, y equals negative 2x plus 6. Now, the two lines intersect. Again, we consider the line as, or the system as consistent and independent. And with that, we can say that the points of intersection, or the point of intersection is the solution. And approximately, this is 7 fourths, five hubs. So by substituting the solution should satisfy to both of the equations. So by substituting seven fourths five hubs to the first equation like y equals five hubs, 
then we have 2 times 7 fourths minus 1. So we have 5 halves equal. So this will be cancelled and this becomes 2. 7 halves minus 1 when renamed equal to 2 over 2. So 5 halves really equals 5 halves. With the second equation, y again equals 5 halves equals negative 2 such that x is 7 fourths plus 6. So we have 5 halves here equals, so this will be cancelled, this becomes 2. So this is negative 7 halves plus 6 is, we have 12 over 2. So negative 7 plus 12 is 5. So really 5 halves equals 5 halves. So this satisfies both equations. Now, as you can see in the last example class, it would be um, hard for us to identify really the solution if the solution are not integers like um, this one. So we have to approximate really if this is the solution. And another thing is we really have to grab or plot the points accurately so we can come up with um, a correct solution. But the, the limitation is if we come up, if we are able to grab the two equations accurately, but then the solution is, are not integers, then we will not come up with um, an accurate answer. So in the next discussion, I'll be working on, again, so solving for the solution of the systems of linear equations, this time making use of the other methods such as elimination and substitution. So goodbye for now.